Hi everyone, it's Erin from Digital Photography for Moms. Today we're going to talk about focus. You can't have a good photo without good focus. Everybody knows that. And when people search on my website, one of the top things that they search for is tips on focus. In fact, one of my most popular blog posts of all time is about the two settings you need to change on every camera before you shoot with it. And so I am going to walk you through those settings here on a video so that you can actually see what I do on my camera. So most of us have cameras that default to a setting where they choose the focus point for us. So they look at a scene, your cam, you're holding up your camera, the camera looks at the scene and it says, oh, I see a face, I'm going to focus on that. Or, oh, this thing is closest to my lens, so I'll focus on that instead. Or this thing is right in the middle of the viewfinder, so that's what I'm going to focus on. So sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. If you are letting that camera choose where to focus, you are going to misfocus sometimes. So the first thing you should do whenever you use a new camera is enable the ability for you to tell the camera where to focus. It's actually a really simple change. Um, and the reason you wanna do that is because when we're taking photos, we need to be in control. We are able to make a creative decision. We don't want the hands to be sharp. Who's ever heard of tack sharp hands? So we are going to make this setting right here on my Canon, and I'm going to tell you the words to look for for other cameras as well. So if you're shooting with a Nikon, if you're shooting with an Olympus, I'll help you find the settings that you need to change on those cameras as well. All right, so before we get started, let's talk terminology just for a minute because this will give you the background you need to go to your manual and find the information that will help you on your camera. So when we're talking photography, we often think of auto as a bad word, right? We'd rather shoot on manual mode than on auto mode. Um, maybe auto white balance is better than selecting your, your actual white balance. I don't believe that. But anyway, people shy away from using the word auto. But when it comes to focusing on camera, autofocus is a good thing. So the opposite of autofocus is manual focus. That's what the old fashioned photographers used to do. They'd pick up their camera, they'd look through the viewfinder, and they would spin this ring until their subject within that viewfinder looked sharp. Now, if you've got eyes like I do, it's really hard to tell whether <laughs> it's gonna be sharp on camera, right? But we can now let our cameras do for us that job of spinning the ring. So that's what autofocus means. When you are choosing the point where the camera is going to focus, that is called selecting the autofocus point. So you're saying, hey camera, I wanna focus up here towards the top right. So you autofocus on that point. That's what we wanna do. That is called the manual selection of the autofocus point. That's good. Opposite of that is automatic selection of the autofocus point, and that's bad. That's what you wanna avoid. All right, so on my camera, now this is the Canon 6D. Many Canons are going to work very similar to this. Other Canons won't. So you're probably going to have to look in your manual to if, if you're not able to work it out based on what I tell you here. Now, Olympus and Nikon. Rather than autofocus point, both Olympus and Nikon refer to an autofocus target, AF target. AF point, AF target. So that's the terminology you're going to wa want to look for. Um, on Nikon, the term to avoid is the auto area autofocus. That's when the camera does it all. On Olympus, the term you want to avoid is the all targets, okay? So if your camera is focusing on all targets, that doesn't mean that everything in your camera is going to be in focus. It just means that Olympus is gonna choose from all the potential targets which one it thinks is right. So on Olympus, the term you want to look for is either single target or target group, not all targets. On Nikon, the terms that you want to look for are AFS, which stands for autofocus single, or AFC, which stands for autofocus continuous. Okay, so this is what I do on my 6D. So this is the back. I am going to press that Q button right there, which brings up the quick menu. 
And you can see right there that this, um, this little icon that looks like the focus points that I can see inside my camera is highlighted. And when I go down to it, it says automatic selection. All right, automatic selection of the autofocus point, bad. So what I'm going to do is click the set button right there, which takes me into the settings for this particular choice. And then I'm just going to rotate my dial here until it says manual setting. That's all it takes. So what I've just done is I have enabled the manual selection of the autofocus point. Really, it took like four clicks on my camera. That was it. All right, so step one is to enable the ability to select your own focus point. Step two is to actually select the focus point and then you shoot. So when I look through my viewfinder, I can see the nine focus points that my camera gives me to choose from. And using this joystick right here, so just on the edges of my set button, I can press up or down to highlight in red the focus point that I want the camera to auto focus on. So say I'm taking a picture of my daughter she's kind of offset in the frame to the upper left corner, let's say. So I am going to move that red highlight until it's on the upper left focus point, and then I can shoot, that's all I do. So ideally that focus point is going to be over one of her eyes, over her face, depending on how close or how far she is from me. So as long as that red box is lined up with her face, then her face is going to be in focus. So that's it. Just to sum up, you want to enable the manual selection of autofocus points, and then you want to actually select the focus point. Now you'll need to select the focus point every time you move, every time your subject moves. If my daughter is sitting in front of me not moving, I don't have to change that focus point. But if I decide to move over here to get a different perspective, um, if she moves within the frame, then I'm going to change it. Um, but you'll find, you're not used to it at first, but you'll find that that just becomes second nature. You're using your thumb to set a different focus point and, and it just kind of follows your subject around. So I hope this has been helpful. If you need more information, uh, read the blog post because there are a few more details in the blog post and the uh, URL for the blog post is below this video. And if you have other questions, then post them either on that blog post or here in the comments below the video. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this helps.